Hi guys, I'm Renee. I'm an epilepsy warrior from WA. Um, today I want to talk about deja vu. Now, deja vu has many different effects for people with epilepsy. Some people experience deja vu before they have a seizure. Some people, it's like a warning sign before you're going to have a seizure. Um, for me, deja vu is very closely connected with my PTSD. Um, I usually experience a lot of deja vu after I've had a seizure. Not so much, a little bit maybe before, but I get that um, aura um, that warns me before I have a seizure, which has been going on for many years, thankfully. And as I'm five years seizure free, I haven't had it. I still get it occasionally if I'm not well, and usually I make sure I take extra bit of care and get lots more sleep. But deja vu for me is a smell, um, um, a sunny sky, and then I'm well right back when I was 15 years old or 10 years old, and it's it can be quite unsettling for me, um, and quite upsetting because it's usually memories I have with my father. Um, and yeah, so it gets, I get a bit emotional when I have deja vu, so I, I have to admit, I really don't like it. I'll be sitting in the spa with my kids and I'll have a woof. Like when I'm a kid, I'll, I have this weird feeling of when I was a kid again. Um, it's really quite unsettling. It's, it's also like with the dreams as well, the intense, intense dreams that people have with epilepsy. You may have heard this before. Many people, um, many famous people, psychics, had epilepsy so I don't know if it has something to do with where our seizures come from that part of the brain we're more susceptible and more I don't know intense we have more intense dreams we experience things a bit more intensely probably or maybe we tend to pay attention a lot more to what's going on in our brain because we're trying to figure it out I don't know but um, yeah, deja vu is, is, is a hard one to deal with. Um, PTSD, is, which is post-traumatic stress disorder, is closely connected to epilepsy. Many of us, many people don't even realize that we have it, but I've spoken to many doctors and psychologists and they've all said, they've all said many of us have it. It's something you should really talk to someone about because it can be quite distressing and quite, you know, you're always scared you're gonna have a seizure and it is something that you really need to look at. I don't go to counseling myself. I tend to read a lot of books these days to try and help me try and understand how to deal with those emotions. I find that's quite helpful. Um, I just don't have the time to go to a counselor anymore with two little kids and working full time, so. But um, deja vu, if you experience deja vu, you need to pay attention to it because it really, it either is PTSD or um, or it is an aura. As many people have told me, it is an aura for them. And when they have a deja vu, they know they're about to have a seizure. It's it's different for everyone. The um, vivid dreams are very stressful as well. Um, I'll, have, I'll have really intense, vivid dreams. And it's hard to tell if they're memories because I've blocked so much stuff out or if it's something that's happened or something to start imagined. And they're so intense, it's hard to know. You know, I have to ask my husband many times when I have a vivid dream, is this something that happened or is it a movie? And many times he said to me, no, that's that's something that happened. Or one time I had very, I used to have these very intense dreams about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> And I had to ask him, did this happen? He's going, no, that's it. that's that crazy TV show you watch. <laughs> it was pretty cool though, I have to admit. I, I was pretty sure I was a superhero. <laughs> that's the good side to his food dreams. <laughs> that is why I don't watch horror movies. <laughs> because when you're watching horror movies, can you imagine watching it and the clown coming after you when, when you're having one of those intense vivid dreams? God, no, what a scary experience. But as I say, it's good to talk about these things, get information from other people. That is why I share my experiences to try and help people because you're not going to know unless you hear it from somebody else. You having all these these vivid dreams or deja vus and you're like, what the hell's going on? What Am I crazy? No, nah, it's completely normal. And after 29 years, this, this month of epilepsy, yeah, 
I think I've I pretty much got it nailed now. <laughs> I hope so. I hope there's no new surprises coming for me. Anyway, take care, stay seizure safe, and I will try to keep you updated. I'm quite busy at the moment, so I'm just trying to keep above water at the moment. Take care, stay safe, bye.